Hello, my name is Fabian Giro. In this video, I will show you how we can manage very easily with Intelligent Management Center the layer 2 adjacency, adjacency between devices. So to do this, I will use IMC 7.0 version E0202 and also the module MPLS VPN Manager. So what I will do is first to show you how we can manage very easily the VLAN use with IMC. And after that, I will show you the MPLS part with the MPLS VPN manager. So let's begin. First, I will connect to my IMC server on the web user interface. OK, so as you can see, I'm connected to my IMC server. So my home page is a short summary of my, of my MPLS network, but you can customize your home page using the different widgets. So first, the VLAN management. So to manage the VLAN, we have different ways to do it. First, we can manage it directly in this web page using some kind of tables in the VLAN management part here. So for example, if I want to manage the VLAN on the devices very quickly, I can go here, select a device, for example, this one, OK. And after that, I will see all the VLAN defined on the device, and also VLAN information, like IP address on the VLAN interfaces. OK, there is not, but we can add. And also, we can manage directly the VLAN on the port. For example, we can change the PVID for access port. I will show you very quickly on a, this port, for example. I select this one and this one. I select modify PVID. And then I can select, for example, VLAN 107. OK. And now the PVID is changed on these two ports. So I will put back the correct VLAN. OK. And we can do also management on the trunk or hybrid port. For example, we can add some allowed VLAN on port for trunk or hybrid. Here, for example, I can select this one. Or, yeah, I can select this one, modify. And then I can add some VLAN here. OK, so this is for the basic management. After that, there is another very, very useful way to manage the VLAN, which is using the maps. So to do this, I will open the network topologies here. And you will see that directly on the map, we can manage the VLAN. For example, if I select my Gonable lab here, OK, so here you can see mainly all my devices in my Gonable lab. And there is a very useful tool here, which is the VLAN view. And when I click here, you will see on the right all the VLAN configured for the current map, at least on one device on the map. So if I select a VLAN, first, in terms of monitoring, I will select the VLAN 1000, for example. So in terms of monitoring, it is very useful because by selecting the VLAN, I can see all the devices and link belonging to this VLAN. This one are highlighted and the other one are grayed. So first, monitoring, very easy. And after that, if I select my test VLAN here, so I selected the VLAN 415. And I want to, to deploy this VLAN on some devices on my map. So I just have to select the devices, for example, this device, this device, and sorry, this device, this device, and this one. So here I selected one Cisco device, one HP provision device, which is 8212, as far as I remember, and one HP Comware device, which is a 5500. So to deploy the VLAN, I don't care if it is Cisco, Juniper, 
HP or any kind of device. I just have to select the devices, right click, select the link Add to Current VLAN. Okay. I can also add the VLAN on all trunk or hybrid ports on the devices. I won't do it, but we can. I click on OK and you'll see one second later the VLAN is deployed on the devices. Okay, but you will say that, for example, on these two devices, the VLAN is defined, but it is not allowed through the trunk. If I select the link, I can say that, yes, that's true, the VLAN is not allowed through the trunk. Okay, no problem, just have to right click on the, on the link and select Add to Current VLAN. Click on OK. And now the VLAN is allowed through the trunk. Let's verify. OK, VLAN 415 on each part of the link. And to remove the same, right click, remove, and the same on the devices. Remove from current VLAN. Okay, this is the first way we can manage the VLAN directly on the map. And there is a new option with the latest HTML5 topologies, which are even more easy. If I select my RAM demo ETSS view, okay, here I have three devices. Okay, it is a very simple exam example. So again, I select my VLAN view here, and I select VLAN 20, or 30 perhaps. Yeah, 30 is better. So now, remember, before we have to select all the devices on which we want to deploy the VLAN. Now there is a new option which allows us to only select two devices and to deploy the VLAN on the path. For example, if I select these two devices, I right click and I see two options here, deploy VLAN to devices and deploy VLAN to links. So if I select deploy VLAN to devices, this will deploy the VLAN on all the devices on the path. So here, okay, there are three devices in the path. I click on next. I can here set some IP address uh, on the VLAN uh, and so on. I click on OK, and now if I reload, you can see that VLAN 30 is deployed on all the devices in the path. And if I want to do the same on the links, right click, deploy VLAN to links, click on OK, one and two. So now the VLAN is deployed on the path. So very, very easy. So this was for the VLAN management in India Agent Management Center. So now for MPLS VPN network, there is a module called MPLS VPN Manager, which allows us to monitor and manage the MPLS and MPLS VPN directly in IMC. So if I select the MPLS VPN Manager, MPLS management first. Here you can see all the devices on which I have some MPLS configured. So from here I can view the configuration. Okay, I can modify, I can set some tunnel information, some uh, traffic engineering, and so on. Okay. And after that, if I select the topology management, I will see these MPLS devices on a map. So this map is still in Java, but this will be changed in a some patch. Okay, so here I open my MPLS topology. So don't worry, all my devices are unreachable today because I have a major issue on a card on a device, and so they are inaccessible. But I can show you the demonstration. So here I have my one, two, three, four, five, five MPLS devices. 
So I can see all the LSP defined in this MPLS network. Let's do this like this. OK. If I select a specific LSP, this will highlight the devices and link belonging to this LSP. OK, for example, this one. Another way to show the LSP between the devices is to select two devices, for example, these two ones, to right click on it. Oh, sorry, select the two devices, and here there is a tool to show the LSP list between these two devices. So between these two devices, we have two LSP. If I select this one, this will highlight corresponding LSP. And if I select a link, I will see details for the link. So here, the left interface is root aggregation one, and the right one is root aggregation one. <laughs> link speed, three giga. And also, if I select a device, I will see a summary for the device. OK, so after, so this is for the main features MPLS. After that, we also have other topologies, MPLS VPN, MPLS Traffic Engineering, and L2 VPN. L2 VPN will be part of another video. So if I select MPLS VPN, for example, here you can see all the VRF in my MPLS VPN network, so VPN 10 and VPN 11. I can first display the global MPLS VPN management here. So I can see the P and the P and the CE here. I can again select a device, view a summary of the device. Okay. I can also select a link to view the summary of the link. So the link is between Giga311 and VLAN409. And if I want to display a specific VPN, VRF, I can view the access topology or service topology. For example, for VPN10, if I select the access topology, I will see my PE here and my CE. So I can see the MPLS backbone here. Okay. And I can again display the links between my PE, my core, and my PE and my CE. And if I select the service topology, I will see all the CE belonging to the service. So this is for the maps for MPLS VPN management. After that, we can also manage very many, many things on the other window. Here, you can see different tabs, MPLS management, MPLS VPN management, MPLS TE management, and L2 VPN. So for example, if I want to see in MPLS VPN management, some information on my VPN, I can select here VPN management, and I will see all the VRF in my architecture. So if I select uh, VPN 11, for example, yes. So I have a summary of my VPN, so I can see all the alarm for this VPN, OK. And I can see also the SC for this VPN. If I select this one, which is the only one, I have details for this SC. And after that, I have other tabs. 
So SC list, PE list, CE list, SA list. So if I select, for example, PE list, I will see all the PE in this VPN. So there is one 7,300 and one 8,800 with autonomy system number 8888. And the same for the CE. Okay, which is a router MSR 3022, in fact. Okay. SA. And I can also monitor some performance for this specific VPN. So incoming traffic and outgoing traffic. Something interesting here. If you want, you can export your graph directly from here in Excel file, PDF file, HTML file, or text. And finally, we can also see some information between CA links. So this was for the MPS VPN management. So. Thank you for your, for your attention and see you soon.